This is a Lego set and here are 1,000 sets. Let's get to building. And I'm going to use all of these sets to break the world record for the largest Lego Star Wars clone army before made of four. So this means I have exactly 93 days to get enough minifigures. So on day one of this challenge, this giant package got delivered to my front door and there are over 100 of these boxes, which filled the entire driveway. We loaded up the cars and built this giant wall of boxes. And inside each box, there are eight Lego sets, which means I have a total of 1,100 of the same Lego sets. And this is only the first out of four steps because at the end of February, I will travel to Hamburg to open another 500 of these sets with Noah. You see, back in January, I called with Noah and we decided to get 500 of these sets each. Little did he know, I bought 1,000 of these battle packs just by myself, which I'm surprising him with later on in this video. And now I had to bring all the boxes upstairs and the entire guest room is filled with these Lego sets. This is just insane. I asked my family to come help me out so now we can start opening these sets. The game plan is simple. Some will open the Lego sets and sort bag 1, 2, and 3. The next person will open bag 1 and remove the 3 clone troopers. Two other people will open bag 2 and remove the clone and droids. And bag 3 is kinda useless so we'll throw that away. No, just kidding, I'm reselling the parts with today's sponsor, Costa Bricks, a Brickling store where you can buy all the droids and parts to help us fund the clone army. So get your droids and parts now through the link in the description down below. We spent the entire day opening sets and sorting the minifigure parts, and my entire family pitched in and helped me get this finished. At the end of the day, we still had an entire bag filled with bag 2 and a bin with bag 1 to open. And on the second day, we finished opening all of the bags and could start building the minifigures, which took us 4 hours to build. Let's set up the army. We got into 3 cars and drove to a local community community center to set up this army and brought all of these bags filled with lego clone troopers and now we're gonna set up all of the clone troopers all right let's do this so everyone started grabbing the bags and even started unboxing some Lego base plates to set up the minifigures. Everyone continued setting up clone troopers and after placing all the minifigures, the army is complete and there's a total of 8,682 clone troopers. Which means I've doubled my army and it's going to be way bigger when we buy more sets at the end of this video. Next up, we needed to unbox the 500 sets which Noah has bought and a few days later, my bag was packed and I got a call. Hey, what's up? Are you ready? to create the largest army on YouTube? Yes, I am. We're gonna do this. Let's freaking go! The next morning, I hopped on a train and traveled for hours to reach my destination. Welcome to Hamburg. Let's go check out the Lego store. After visiting the Lego store, we traveled to Noah's place where he showed me his clone army and I got a great idea. No, 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 no. These are mine, all right? Now it's time to get some rest because we need to open so many Lego sets tomorrow. Oh, I... You know we're gonna have like four and a half hours of sleep. It's all four and a half hours. Guys, it's too early for this. We quickly got on a train to Hamburg and I was so tired because I only got four hours of sleep and then we drove to Marcel's place. So we're here, scene of the crime. A lot of keys. And here is a small amount of battle packs, I think. Small amount. We got all the boxes and started opening them and wanted to make a castle out of the sets. We ended up making this weird fortress with two towers. And the guys decided to give in to their primal instincts. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's get started. So now it's unboxing time. Group 1 started unboxing the sets and brought them to me and Noah, but we needed a better strategy because we only received the contents of 10 sets at a time, which resulted in us doing nothing for several minutes. So everyone had to go outside and open the sets together and sort all the numbered bags and the bins started filling up pretty fast. And after about 40 minutes of continuous unboxing, we reached the final set. And there we go. All we need to do is open the numbered bags and there are so many. Noah and I teamed up again and opened all of the number one bags. And all of these bins filled with minifigure parts look so satisfying. And even though it was getting pretty late, we continued opening bag number two deep into the evening and finally finished after midnight. And everyone was broken. Now Marcel didn't have a mattress for me, but he came up with the best solution ever. Exactly. Make for you a perfect bed, as soft as possible. I'm literally sleeping on Lego, okay. Next up, everyone went to bed and I was the only one awake which made this really scary. Uh, guys, what was that sound? I went to get my sleeping bag and saw the creepiest thing ever. An open window. Very, very creepy. I crawled under the piano and tried to close the curtain, but it was stuck. And even worse, the front door wasn't locked, so sleeping through the night was going to be really scary. Alright guys, it's really scary here. Let's get some sleep. I slept a few hours, and now let's build the clone army. 
There are 2,600 minifigures, and we're going to add all of these to my army on day 51 of this challenge. So now it's time for me to go home. So I said goodbye to the guys, and spent about 6 hours in the train traveling back. Ah, oh, we're finally home. It's so good to be back, guys. I missed you, Spongebob. A few weeks later, I drove to the train station to pick up Noah. Hello? I'm gonna do this. We drove home, and do you remember that Noah doesn't know I bought 1,000 battle packs? Well, now I can finally show him. Are you ready? Uh, I guess so. Oh my god. These, These are, are, we said we'd, we'd get 500 each, but. It's a thousand. Yeah. You got a thousand? Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we went upstairs to show him the clones and my Lego room. Yeah, it's a big day tomorrow, so. I'll let you take care of everything you should have done like a week ago. Well, good night, man. See you tomorrow. So I went out of my way to remove all the blasters from the clone troopers and was also charging my camera batteries for the next day. And all of this happened while Noah was already sleeping. And after a lot of work, I could also finally rest. So after waking up, I had to call Jedi Bricks and Brickless because they're also adding their armies to the Grand Army of the Republic. While waiting, I removed more blasters with Noah and then the doorbell rang. It's been an exciting morning, man. It's yeah? Be here. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Let's do this. Now we drove to the hole where we got all the tables ready on which we're gonna set up the largest clone army on YouTube. My minions got the bags and over the course of three hours, we placed all the clone troopers. We moved the tables and added the entire army. And with that, we've set up a Lego clone army consisting of 12,000 minifigures. This is the first time an army this big has been displayed by fans on YouTube. And we're not stopping there because this giant truck arrived and the delivery man brought me three pallets filled with Lego. Let's get everything inside before anyone steals something. So I went ahead and opened the wrapping and inside there are more of these boxes. It looks like the nightmare will never end, guys. I transported all the boxes inside, which literally took me an hour to do, and the entire living room is filled with two rows of boxes. This is insane, everyone. I brought all the boxes outside and made this castle with them. Now this is a real Lego castle. Now we gotta see what the YouTubers think of this. So first we're calling Danny Bob because she bought 250 sets. Can't wait. What's in those boxes? <laughs> There's eight battle packs in each box. Holy smokes. Next up, I called Noah, and let's see what he has to say. Oh gosh, not more. It's time to stop, okay? Stop. All right, I think we have enough. And we started opening the boxes and putting them in the living room. The entire living room was full, and you could actually make a pretty good bet out of this. The total amount of battle packs is insane. There are 2,000 of them, but you are probably wondering how I got another 2,000 Lego sets. Well, this is all possible by working together. You see, a few weeks ago, I called with Danny Bob, Republic Studs, SW Bricks, and all the creators on the screen. And we decided to work together and they sent me their money to buy these sets. And a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, Costa Bricks, for buying 1,000 battle packs. So now let's start unboxing because this will take a while. On day one, I opened the sets from Danny Bob, and on day two, reinforcements arrived for unboxing this mountain of Lego. We opened all of them and there are thousands of Lego bags. First, we opened bag one to get the clone troopers out. Then we continued with a smaller group for bag two, but it was getting pretty late. Luckily, we got extra help to finish it before midnight. And next up, I invited everyone, and they're going to help me build the clone troopers, and we managed to do this in two hours. We also built the droids, and my parents and grandma built the super battle droids. And a week later, we filled hundreds of base plates with super battle droids, regular battle droids, and the entire clone army. And now my rooms are filled with this mess. So a week passed by, and I set up all the armies, which took me literally 10 hours to do. The following day, Jedi Bricks and Brickless arrived. Watch out. Oh my goodness. I got some boys, but this some boys. A while later, Noah arrived too. Oh my god. Next up, we place the minifigures from Noah, and with that, I present you a clone army of 19,500 minifigures. And we also set up 16,300 droids and many more Imperial and First Order troopers, totaling to a display of over 38,300 LEGO Star Wars minifigures. So that's officially more than LEGO's world record of 36,400, but this doesn't count because the display exists out of different armies. So we have a clone army of 19,500 minifigures here, and all over the world, we have members contributing their clone armies to attempt to break the world record together. Right now, with everyone all over the world, we stand at 65,000 LEGO clone troopers in the Grand Army of the Republic, and with that, we've beaten LEGO, but we still need to meet up at a location. So we're gonna continue building that army, and I'll see you in the next video.